And many people in Port Aransas decided to board up their homes and businesses to be safe ahead of the storm. They are one of the communities who has had their fair share of severe weather. That's where we find our Sunrise anchor Taylor Alanis tonight. Taylor, what have you been seeing out there? Well, Clara, first I want to point out what Stephanie Lauber calls, and we all know, disrespectful winds. Uh, meteorologist Bill Alexander just said it was about 23 miles per hour winds out here, and I am feeling it. If you can't tell right now, I'm going to point Manny, who's our man behind the camera, to this water over here by the ferries, which TxDOT stopped running at noon today. But yeah. The tide isn't necessarily high, but those waves are very aggressive, but that didn't necessarily stop people from enjoying the weather today. Earlier, we were out at the beach by Horse Caldwell Pier, and there was a surfer out there just trying to get those swells by the pier, which clearly they're dangerous waters. We don't want anyone in them right now, but during this kind of weather, especially in the Port Aransas area, we tend to see those surfers go out there and try to catch some of those waves. But yeah, a lot of people out here right now, they're so used to severe weather. They've been through a lot of hurricanes, at least the locals. So they're just trying to enjoy the weather while they still can out here. And we talked to a few of them earlier today. You know, it's the only place that's open in town, I think. So uh, yeah, stripes are closed, uh, IGA is closed. So. Uh, this is it. <laughs> and how is it going over there? It's going good. This morning being Sunday, this town, it was a lot of people cleared out. There were so many tourists here. It was kind of interesting to go. A lot of people in town were on edge, particularly because of Harvey, which is perfectly understandable. And then there were so many people that were oblivious. Now, because of the mandatory evacuation from the Nueces County judge for visitors, yeah, we were talking to some locals here who said all the visitors pretty much left this morning and the beaches and the roads are pretty empty. That was the case also when we were driving into town. There wasn't a lot of cars on the road, just some golf carts. Some of the businesses were boarded up, some were not. But again, all we're really experiencing here is a lot of this wind. So windy that it looks like I'm wearing a raccoon tail. I promise it's not a raccoon tail. It's just a better cover for my mic so you can actually hear me in this wind. But yeah, a lot of the locals here, they've been through this before. They're just hunkering down. In fact, that bar shorties where we interviewed one of those gentlemen, they're having a, her or they're having a tropical storm party right now. So that's what they're doing. They're just hunkering down and having fun in Port Aransas. So again, we're just going to stick around here. We'll see you back here in the morning. But for now, live in Port Aransas, Taylor Alanis, Chris 6 News.